Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share this video with you. I, I don't I don't yet know how to capture it. Like I when I had my MacBook Pro, I didn't know how to do it. I had the OBS on here. I goofed it up somehow. I uninstalled it to go reinstall it so it would work right. I went to reinstall. All I got was this new form of OBS and it doesn't work the same. So anyway, I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. There's this video called, Is This the World You Want? It's a minute and 29. I'm going to read you what it says on the screen. All right. It says, last month, okay, I got to back it back up. In the last month, Lithuania became the first country in Europe to enforce severe COVID pass restrictions in all of society. They show a young lady checking in with her cell phone. People without a COVID pass are banned from most public areas. Supermarkets, shopping centers, stores, banks, restaurants, and cafes. Lithuania. Gyms, libraries, repair services, haircuts, and much more. Again, I show people checking in with their cell phones. At entrances to public spaces, people queue, queue in line to have their pass verified. Guards scan the pass of each person, sometimes with a handheld scanner, and sometimes with an installed machine. You can just put your little cell phone right over the machine. If you have a valid pass, the light flashes green and beeps, and this, and you may enter. The COVID pass is in the form of a QR code on the phone or on paper. I guess not everybody over there has a smartphone like some of us here. I finally got one, but it's, uh, anyway, it's still showing people in line. A person without a COVID pass may not enter any public space. There's a guy they're showing here, tried to get in, they turned him around, kicked him out. That person is banned from participating in society. And there's three cops right there on him. Without a pass, you are banned from shopping centers, restaurants, banks, gyms, university, non-emergency medical care. Wasn't that nice of them? They're still letting you go get medical care if you have an emergency. Supermarkets, non-essential stores. That would probably be clothing. Anything but food, I guess. Cafes and bars, you have to have it. Haircuts, libraries. Libraries, really? You're gonna stop someone from going to check out books because they don't have the COVID pass and repair services. Oh, so if your car breaks down, you can't get it towed to a car repair shop if you don't have a COVID pass and employers suspend you without pay. My, my, they're really right on the ball in getting this thing going, aren't they? They've already got their new world order going over there in Lithuania. <music> Lithuania is Europe's first full COVID pass regime. All restrictions are in effect already, but other countries are imposing their own measures within weeks. The current reality in Lithuania foreshadows the future that faces other democratic countries if they continue down the path of COVID pass restrictions. Europe, U.S., U.K., 
Australia, and Canada. Things are a mess in Australia. They are a mess. It's a Nazi communist country already. And they were as democratic as we were. And we are quickly losing our rights to Is this the world you want? Here's the question. That's the end of it. Do we have a choice? If you've had a positive test. Oops. This is a whole nother video. Well, let me back it up because I'm going to need that information. Back up. That is not. This is a 50 minute video and I just played a short one. So why won't it back up? Oh, well, I'll find it. I will link it. And you can read it over yourself if you want. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Let me figure out how to pull my camera back up here and stop it. With that, I'll say, surely Jesus Christ is coming soon for his bride, the first fruits, the barley harvest. What do you think? See you soon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Those of you who know, you're part of it. And those of you who aren't, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare. You lean on the Lord like you never have. Remember Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. With that, I'll say, God bless you, each and every one of you. And I will be back later or tomorrow with another video updating you on something. Okay, bye for now, y'all. Talk to you later.